My friend, uh, in the last session, <coughs> you already learned about accessibility ID and how to click on an element on the screen. In this lesson, I want to share you a uh, basis about uh, aspect, and you can use the, the aspect selector in your testing. So firstly, we need to open the Appium desktop and then we try to inspect the login icon by using the aspect selector. Okay, so try to open the Appium desktop first. So after the Appium desktop is uh, launched, you need to make sure that you plug your device into your machine correctly. And after that, you do the command ADB command, uh, ADB device command. And now it's a list of the uh, attack device into your machine. In this case, I'm using the real device. So you may use the emulator in this case. So after your device plugs to your machine correctly, just click on the button start server here. And now the APM server is now stuck and then click on the inspector icon to inspect the application on your phone. Here you click on the say capability and then you click the target uh, phone that you want to inspect the application. In this case, I'm using Android uh, J7. And then you click on the start the session. Okay, here we go. So in the last session, in the previous session, we already assessed the login icons test by using the accessibility ID. Now we are going to use the aspect in this case. So just simply click on the login test here and you can see there's a success aspect and you can do it, but I want to show you how to use a custom aspect by yourself. So just scroll down uh, in the attribute value here and you can see the text in our login, right? So we need to find a text with the value that's in login. So try with this effect. So you click on the search for element icon here and you choose the locator strategy is uh, aspect and you boost what? Here, you are going to do the related is uh, aspect that means not absolute we will go for double slot here for related uh, aspect that means we will not go from the root directory from the top down but we will go anywhere okay anywhere that i found that i found and in the double pocket here the, the double pocket sorry in the double pocket here is the condition so you use the add, add doesn't mean the add an attribute value. In this case, I'm using test, okay? So that means we stop anywhere in the SML tree here and we use the double, double bracket to specify our condition. In this case, as test. Once it test, the test is the attribute name. So in this case, our test equal equal what equal double code okay double code locking and then you try to click on short up what we got we got an invalid selector argument so we just train oh i forgot the star that means double slash start from anywhere and i don't care about the other other thing i will explain for you about that what does that mean later? But right now, just push start. That means every single thing where we found an attribute with the value login. Okay, shut. And you see, we found an element. Just click on the element ID and you see it's now highlighted the login test. 
Okay, <clears throat> so try to make sure we are going into yield the tab on element to make sure that we found out the correct element that we want to perform tab element. And you can see it's now it's now navigated to the login side of form here. So that means the locator by using SBAC here uh, is correct and we can use in our test right now, right? So, but there's a, there is a, another problem. So basically on this, on this screen, we have a two login test. The login here, you can see the login here on the top and the login here in the navigation bar here. And if you click on short again, you see two elements on the screen matches. So that should be a problem for us. So we need to customize again if we go to this screen. So how to customize uh, exactly the login here in this screen. So try to cancel and try to click on the login again here. Okay. So may, uh, it may not solve for you the selected element and every single attribute on the right side. So in this case, you just need to click on the actual SML here and you navigate manually to the view. Here you see it's highlighted, different, right? And try to navigate down to the login here and you want to select the test view, right? You see the tag here, not the login icon, the tag here, that is your target. So this test is, is, is in the Android view, view crop with the content description login, right? So we are going to customize our expect now to target to the login test, not this one. Okay, let's do it. So try to click on short or element again and the locator strategy in this case to expect. But in this case, we are going to try to do another aspect value. In this case, we are going to do the, let me see. This is now in a group, the classic Android dot, dot view dot view group. You see, I can copy it. Android dot view dot view group here as the content description login. Yeah. Double slot. And the task name, the task name in this case is android.view.viewgroup and with the content description is login. That means we target to the parent node and then we go to you um, anywhere, anywhere with the description. That means anywhere, that means we don't care about the task again. So anywhere with the condition as test equal login and we short. You see? Now we target to this one. We target to this one again. So let's get back to the expect value here. You see, the first thing we need to target to the parent view. And the second thing, the, the parent view and the, uh, the condition of the parent view, that's it, the content description is login. And then we target to anywhere with the text is login. So in this case, we can target the login text on the, uh, the, the second login text here on the system bar. So it's not all about aspects, but because we are going to use something like accessibility ID selector or aspect in our course. So I just want to tell you in basic and give you some clues that you can search more on the on the Google yourself. So I, I, I would recommend the I one resource is a very okay for expect that the expect, um, expect Guru 99. And they have a very good explanation about expect. It's worth on the web, but the, the knowledge that you can do on the the mobile testing as well as long as you understand about the concept. 
So just go through the Google and try to un understand more about the aspect. So in this course, I will try to help you bit by bit, but just in case you have time, try to search more. And see you in the next video, we will try to learn about the new selector review or US uh, UI selector value specifically on the Android. Okay, bye for now.